I don't even collect G.I. Joe, but I am super pumped about the HasLab Hiss Tank. Does my excitement warrant the $300 price tag for a figure line that I don't even collect? Should you be buying this sucker? Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? My name is Matt, often called Big Nerdy. Together, we are the NWO, the Nerd World Order, and this is Nerd Zone. We continue with the living room videos, and today we are looking at the HasLab Hiss Tank. Before this was officially announced, everyone had pretty much figured out it was going to be a Hiss Tank. And I remember seeing in all the forums the night before, everyone's like, If this is a Hiss Tank for $300 in 6 inch scale, that's going to be terrible. I'm not backing that. And then like five minutes after the live stream ended, This was the greatest thing ever. The world has changed. Yeah, people really change their tune quick in the G.I. Joe world. But I get it. Like that presentation was amazing. And like if I had a hat, I would take it off of the G.I. Joe team. They did a phenomenal job with this entire campaign. From the previews, the countdown, the little hints, the way they had Cobra Commander in storyline trying to get this crowd funded. It's just an amazing presentation, an amazing figure. They just nailed it. I mean, I don't want to talk negatively about other Hasbro marketing teams. You know who you are, but this HasLab is how you do HasLabs. And I used to say that about the Marvel team and they do it great too, but this was awesome. One of the complaints you often hear about HasLab is, why does a billion dollar corporation need to have crowdfunding? What's great about this campaign is they explain that in storyline. Weapons designer Destro writes, The recently foiled machinations of Cobra Commander to melt the polar ice caps have severely impacted funding at Mars Industries. I have the plans, but not the means to produce an unstoppable fleet of armored vehicles that would surely crush the forces of G.I. Joe under its mighty treads. Out of his usual incessant prattling came the germ of an idea from Cobra Commander that may provide the necessary capital to make these designs a reality. His latest scheme is to appeal to the masses themselves and have them finance it for us. It is quite diabolical, actually, as I have found a fool and his money are soon parted. As a result, Mars Industries has subcontracted HasLab, who were unwitting accomplices in our Cobra hack of the G.I. Joe Sty Striker campaign to crowdfund the production and distribution of the first ever G.I. Joe classified series Cobra Hiss vehicle on six inch scale. They will carry the water to realize my genius. The marketing gods are smiling upon you, classified team. Hell of a good job. So where to start with this thing? Let's start at the beginning. What is a Hiss tank? The Cobra High Speed Sentry, Hiss for short, has been the dominant tank used by Cobra forces since the organization's inception. The Hiss has been upgraded and remodeled over time, but all vary and share a very similar general design, featuring dorsal mounted cannons and a canopy. The Hiss was developed to fulfill two separate needs on the battlefield, anti-personnel and heavy armor. The Hiss tank is the most versatile and deadly opposition on any battlefield. Whether on city streets or or through the dense jungle, the Hiss can outrun, outmaneuver, and outperform anything in its class. Simply put, the Hiss tank is war. Here's what we know about this thing so far. It is the first G.I. Joe classified HasLab. It needs 8,000 backers to back. As I film this, it currently has 16,265 backers and 35 days to go. So yeah, I'd say they made it. The deadline is 11.59 p.m. on August the 15th, and it will cost you a whopping $300 to help Cobra Commander realize his dream. Let's talk about the features. First off, we got battery powered interior and exterior LED lights. This includes a red Cobra insignia beacon that shines from the front, functioning wheels and moving treads, an elaborately detailed cockpit design with an illuminated control panel, a gullwing style canopy and a rear cargo bay. But wait, there's more. There's an articulated turret with posable cannon accessories, removable engine cover details, removable armor plating skirt, extendable cockpit bordering ladders, and of course, a Hiss tank driver. And this one's coming in a G.I. Joe classified style package and it's numbered. Let's talk about unlocks, because we already unlocked all of them. Unlock number one was removable side-mounted missile racks. Unlock number two was a retro Hiss canopy and retro armor-plated tread skirts. Unlock number three was a weapons accessory pack and Hiss gunner. I don't know if that figure's numbered or not. If it is, people are going to go crazy for it. It might just come in a little baggy in the box. Who knows? And unlock number four, the one I'm probably most excited about, is a retro carded Cobra Commander based on an error figure from the original 1982 Real American Hero line. And a first for HasLab, they included an early bird special in this. The deal was, if this thing backed within 24 hours, they would throw in an extra figure for everybody, and of course, it did. I got a feeling that they're going to do this on all HasLabs going forward, but what was it, you ask? It was a fourth figure, a Hiss Tactician. So four figures, a vehicle, a ton of other little cool accessories. This thing's pretty awesome. 
Let's talk about price. So is this a good price? Hell yeah, this is a good price. One of the reasons the price is so good and the value of what you're getting for $300 is because Hasbro doesn't have to pay up to the mouse. Mickey Mouse ain't getting his 20% cut on this one. The secondary market on this thing, I think is going to be pretty incredible because there's a lot of people. I mean, it's not exactly a great time for the economy. So when this thing comes out a year and a half from now, there's going to be a lot of people trying to get it. And the four figures, especially if more than one of them are numbered, people are going to go nutso trying to get those figures. Even the people who did not want the His Tank because of space, they're going to want the figure. So yeah. Yeah. If you decide you don't want this later, it's not going to be a problem. If you're considering buying this and you're just kind of like on the fence, like, ah, I don't know if I should buy this, ask yourself these questions. Do you collect G.I. Joe? Then yes. Do you collect G.I. Joe Classified? Then yes. Have you once thought about collecting G.I. Joe Classified? Yes. Have you ever heard of G.I. Joe Classified? Then yes, buy it. Bottom line, everyone needs to buy this thing. That is how amazing it is. I am so pumped for it. It is super cool. If you have any consideration that you might want this, go buy it now. As for me, yes. This will be the very first G.I. Joe classified figures in my collection. And I think I'm going to wait to buy any others until this comes in so I can set up a display and that'll be like opening classified for the first time a year and a half from now. But I am like so excited for this thing. First time in my life I'm going to own G.I. Joe figures. How screwed up is that for an 80s kid? If you're wondering if I'm always this positive about Haslabs, the answer is no. And if you don't believe me, check out this video here where I completely poop on the Rancor Haslab because it did not go very well. And remember, you got to get old, but you don't have to grow up. Just be cool. Stay nerdy. Later.